I imagine at this point in your career, this maybe resonates a little different. How does this one feel? <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's great. Thank you. Um, no, it's uh, it's cool to you know kind of keep the dream alive, keep uh, keep playing in the National Hockey League, and um, you know that was my goal to come in and make the team and. Uh, Nice to see it come to fruition, and now uh, you know, kind of the real work starts. Yeah, and maybe on that real work. Now that you've got what you have, this new deal, what can you do for this team, uh, in your opinion? Yeah, I think kind of what I've done my whole career is just uh, be great around the room, um, and then you know, when I get the opportunity, jump in and uh, you know, try to make a difference. I think that's you know, my next goal is to to reestablish myself as a full-time NHL player and, and a good one at that. So. Uh, just be patient and, and wait for my chance to kind of make a mark and, um, you know, obviously uh, try to produce a little bit of offense. Was it different this time around? I mean, you've had great contracts throughout your entire uh, NHL career, but was this one, when you found out, did you know, and how did it how did it hit when you finally heard the news? Yeah, I, I mean, they were, Connie and Husk were great throughout. Um, they didn't, you know, they weren't leaving me in the dark. They kind of were letting me know it was headed the right direction and to just keep going. And um, so when it did come through, it wasn't, uh, you know, a huge shock because they were kind of keeping me in the loop. But yeah, it's definitely you know to, to actually sign and and you know have another another kick at the can at the National Hockey League was a great feeling and uh, nice to be able to to tell the family and, and get them to come down and join me. I got a you know a, a son who's a, at a great age and a, a young daughter, so it'll be nice to kind of reunite with them. Did you have a plan D if this didn't work out? No, no, I was in one. I was, uh, you know, I think there was maybe a few other teams, you know, calling, just interested how it was going. But, uh, you know, uh, no, there was there was probably going to have to be a meeting of the minds there if it went the wrong way. So uh, I'm glad it worked out and, uh, you know, try to make the most of it and see if I, you know, can't stick around a little longer. You got yourself a nice dinner? Like, how did you celebrate? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, Rennie Bork, an old teammate, was in town. We were planning on doing dinner. Uh, anyway, so I just met up with him, uh, had a nice dinner and a, a good catch-up. Just to Ron's question, what was this experience like for you, coming to camp on a PTO? How much, I don't know, stress or anxiety goes into that? Uh, yeah, I'm not a super kind of stressful guy, so um, it was good. I just took it a day at a time, and, um, you know, I, I, I think putting in the work this summer kind of put me at ease. I knew I was in good shape and kind of ready to come in and... It's a league I played a long time in and played some good hockey in, so I knew if I was uh, in good shape and came in and, and played well, I'd probably have a good shot at it. But it definitely is a little different, especially when you're, you know, like I mentioned, I've got a family and, and young kids, and everyone's kind of, uh, you know, in limbo. And I, my son starts preschool on, on Monday, and he's pretty stoked, so it would have been disappointing to tell him he wasn't going. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad it worked out. Tyson, I know, like, self-belief in your business is so important, but did you have a moment in the summer where it was like, geez, I'm not Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, July 1, yeah, yeah. when my, my phone was silent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was trying to get reception, looking around. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, no, it was, uh, it was, yeah, there was definitely some moments where I thought, you know, <clears throat> there's, there's, you know, last year, I think even going back to last year, there's moments where you think, you know, do you, do you still want it? Do you still want to, you know, keep going? And, you know, I've, I've been fortunate to play a long, a long time and, and have some good contracts and, um, you know, I definitely had to kind of make the conscious decision to, to put the work in and, and continue the journey, and I'm really glad I did, and uh, glad that uh, I'm getting another shot out of here. I was going to say, is there a fresh perspective that comes with sort of wondering if you're, you've got another game or another season? Right? Yeah, totally. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's just a new perspective, and I'm going to try to play this game as long as I can, and... Um, you know, I'll keep showing up till they lock the doors. So uh, it's uh, it's it's a it's a great game. It's a lot of fun to be around the rink. I think the thought of uh, you know not going on the road with the boys and having the, the night before meals and a glass of red was uh, it was it hurt. So I was you know I had to stick around a little longer. So uh, I'm I'm glad it's worked out here and, and looking forward to hopefully making an impact on this team and. Uh, Stick it around a little while. There's got to be some some excitement in that you spend you know all of camp with these guys. You start to develop that rapport, and, and now to be able to kind of build on that. Yeah, you know what does what does that you know look like? In yeah. Terms of this group? No, it's great. They were all you know they kind of treated me as part of the team since I got here, and I knew a few of them and played against a lot of them for for a long time. So uh, we had a bit of a relationship, but now uh, you know that I, now that they can't kick me out, I got a, I got a contract that can get a little more. Uh, Vocal, I think, with the guys, so it's good. Uh, were there guys you played with the overturn the camp, but you were like, okay, there's something there. Like that would be fun to, to play with these guys. Yeah, totally. I think uh, 
me and Nas never played with each other. We got traded for each other uh, in, when he was in Toronto, I was in Colorado. But, um, you know, not playing with a guy, you don't realize how shifty and, uh, and how good he is. And um, there's some great guys in the room, too. I'm getting to know a couple personalities. Uh, there's some there's some funny guys, so I'm looking forward to it. Is it kind of funny that, like, didn't you guys live in each other's houses? Yeah, we did. Too, yeah, like, yeah we swapped houses and, uh, you know, a lot of communication. And uh, we've had a... A good relationship from afar and lots of mutual friends so uh, him and his wife have been very helpful with our transition just out of curiosity uh, when when did the flames contact you about the pto like how far in the making is this moment yeah i think it's funny they reached out a little bit earlier and we said no chance pto and then we circled back <laughs> he's still, he still talking pto and uh oh it was good uh, connie was great and uh Hus was good it's nice having a little familiarity with those guys and um yeah really uh, really glad it worked out here